Hello everybody, Bootleg Mario here, back with another Warzone loadout video. Today, we're gonna be building the Cold War MP5. Now, there's a difference between the Cold War MP5 and the Modern Warfare MP5, and that's that the Cold War MP5 does more damage, but with the lower fire rate, and the Modern Warfare MP5 does lower damage, but has a higher fire rate. I hope I said that correctly. Alright, so the way that you want to build your Cold War MP5 is not really the same thing as the Modern Warfare MP5. Today we're going to build this as a secondary and really give it that ADS or whatever you want to give it the advantage on. But let's get on with the class. So the first attachment that you want on this is 100% the Agency Suppressor. Now the only reason why we're going with the Agency Suppressor is because you want to be off the radar and the aim down sights really isn't going to affect it because look at the mobility it just goes down by a little bit but if you want and you're having trouble controlling the recoil go with the socom eliminator for more vertical recoil control and aiming stability but for now let's just go with the agency suppressor now for an smg you do not want effective damage range you want bullet velocity now the only reason why you want bullet velocity is because you want to be hitting your shots first and only you first not them you want to give them less of an advantage and you more of an advantage so what you want to run is the ranger barrel for that bully velocity i mean you can go with the task force which will give you strafe speed and bullet velocity but you don't really need the effective damage range and also you get a vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control and if you pick this barrel you are going to notice it so go with the ranger barrel now for the under barrel you're going to want the field agent grip. Like I said, this gun has a little bit of kick to it. So you're going to want to pick the field agent for vertical and horizontal recoil control. Now, the ammunition. The ammunition, you're going to have to pick the 40 round mag. The only reason why you're going to pick the 40 round mag is because there's not really an ADS penalty. If you're... There's not really an ADS penalty. If you were going to pick the 40 round speed mag or the 50 round speed mag, there is a aim down sights penalty. And we don't want that. So you're going to want to pick the 40 round drum mag. Now, the final attachment, you can go with an optic. I'd recommend if you are going to go with an optic, the Microflex LED, really clean. But if you want to give it that little, little bit of extra control, I'd say go with the Airborne Elastic Wrap. Because it gives you aim down sights and aiming stability. Do not go with the Serpent Wrap for this one, because it does not give you that much control as the Airborne Elastic Wrap does. And that is really it. That's my Cold War MP5 build for Warzone. If you guys did enjoy the video, please smash that like button and subscribe because it really does help small channels like me. So, yep, yeah, this is the Cold War MP5 build and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.